Hi, I'm Allie from Infragistics, and I'm here to show you how easy it is to create an Outlook-inspired app using our ASP.NET controls. So let's get started. What you are looking at is an Outlook-inspired application. You can see it has animations. It looks much like Microsoft Outlook. You can see we can have text, rollovers, and even iconography. And if I click on one of the items, we bring up our world-class grid. How do you build an application like this quickly? Let me show you. Here we are in Visual Studio, and I'm going to create a new project. We're going to create a new empty web application, and I'll add a web form to the project. We'll click OK. And the first thing we need is a script manager. So I'll go ahead and drag and drop that onto the surface and click OK. I'm going to add a table using the defaults here. I'll use the explorer bar and drop that onto the table and click OK. Then I want to set up the explorer bar. I need to add the tabs and the items inside the tabs for my experience. I'll click on the edit groups and items and add three roots or three tabs. And for each one, I'll add some children. I'll add some children here, here, and here. Each group has a title. I'll call that one customers, this one orders, and this one products. And the first item we are going to actually call modify customers, and that's going to bring up our data grid. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now I want to add an icon that was the image that you saw in the grid. So I'm going to add an existing item, and we'll go to the desktop to choose our customer's icon. So if I go back in, I can set the image URL property of customers here. And I'll click on this button to select the image I just added and click OK. Then that will be added when we run our applications. Now we've got our explorer bar. So let's go ahead and add a grid. I'll add a new page, create a new web form, and we'll call that web form two. Here, I'm going to add the script manager again. Add our grid control, which I'm just going to simply drag and drop onto the surface. We'll choose a data source. I'm going to use the SQL and the Northwinds database. I'm using SQL Express. I'm going to use the quarters query and it will automatically populate my grid with all the columns. I'll just stretch this out so we can see what's going to happen and that grid is ready to go. I'm going to close and save it. Let's go back into our page and I'm going to add an iframe here. The iframe is going to let us dynamically change the content that's in the page. We are going to add a width property of 1600 pixels. We're going to have a height of 850 pixels.
and a margin top of zero pixels, and a border of zero pixels. Now, if we go back to the design surface, you can see we've got our iframe all ready to go. What I'm going to do is take this Outlook style bar and make it bigger to increase the size so it matches the rest of the page. And we are going to dynamically update what shows up inside of the iframe based on what gets clicked. If you click the Modify Customers, we want to navigate to the grid control, which is on Web Form 2. And the target is the iframe, which we called iframe 1. Now when we run the application, we have our navigation with the Outlook style bar. We have the imagery and the text. When I click, it brings up our data grid, and that's how easy it is to build applications with Infragistics and ASP.NET. We'll see you in the next video where we take this application even further. So that's what's in development. See you soon.